Hello everyone, this is Mario, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of Giro d'Italia 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. Today the riders will face uh, stage 10, it's a short 147 km long flat stage, so it's going to be ideal for the sprinters, but being this short, uh, maybe the breakaway might have a better chance to get to the finish line ahead of the uh, main peloton. So if you haven't seen stage 9, um, I really advise you to do so. It was the final stage of the first week of the Giro, uh, the individual time trial with over 30 kilometers that actually created very large gaps in, in the GC. So being a stage suited for sprinters, I will of course challenge for the win with Matteo Moschetti if it comes down to a mass sprint finish but I will also probably put one of my riders in the breakaway for the eventuality of um, the breakaway reaching the line before the peloton. So the riders are now starting the stage from Ravenna to Modena. And as I said, um, I'm going to aim mainly um, at a sprint finish with Matteo Moschetti, but um, I will put one of my riders, maybe William Clark, in the breakaway. Actually, the peloton doesn't seem really interested in letting my rider to go in the break. Enrico Barbini is the one attacking, but it doesn't really look like he's attacking. This is really weird. So I'm really trying to go into the breakaway. I tried with William Clark. They didn't let me to do that. Then I tried with Nicola Conchi. Uh, and again, the peloton didn't uh, allow me to do that. So currently, the breakaway only has four riders. Um, Tobias Ludwig Ludwigsen, Enrico Gasparotto, Jonathan Narvaez, is always in the breakaway apparently, and Manuel Boaro. So the breakaway riders are approaching the intermediate um, sprint in this race. They are now two kilometers away. I don't really know if they are going to contend for this. Narvaez is leading the group now. No one is sprinting. Yes, so very anticlimactic this one. But in the meantime, in the peloton, well, yeah, <laughs> in the peloton, they were fighting for one point. Moschetti, yeah, he could never get that point. So, so in the meantime, I tried to put William Clark in the breakaway again, um, without success, of course, because the, the peloton immediately started pacing when Clark attacked. We are 55 kilometers away from the finish. The breakaway riders are two minutes ahead of the peloton. So uh, I'm pretty sure that they are not going to, to get the stage win. So in the meantime, it's uh, Team Emirates, the one pacing uh, at the front of the peloton. They are working for their sprinter, Fernando Gaviria. So we are now having attacks in the breakaway group. Enrico Gasparotto um, decided to leave his breakaway companions behind. He's trying to win the stage that way, but the peloton is really pacing fast um, to catch them. So there's no chance for them to, to get in the front. In the meanwhile, I brought um, Matteo Moschetti to the front of the peloton, and I'm trying to get on the wheel of Fernando Gaviria now. Let's see if I succeed on doing that. He's one of the main contenders for the stage. So the breakaway riders are almost being caught. We are seven kilometers away from the finish. Um, Matteo Moschetti is trying to go on the wheel of another strong sprinter, but he's pretty much far back. Let's see if he can get to a better position. This is not being easy. He's following on the wheel of Belletti. 
it's not the best wheel I could have. Let's see if I can choose another one. Let's try Pascal Ackerman. We are closing to the finish. Let's see. Moschetti is now following Belletti still. 1.4 kilometers to go. One kilometer. Let's sprint now. And it's going to be Elia Viviani taking the stage. Elia Viviani, Sasha Model, and Pascal Ackerman. And Matteo Moschetti gets eighth in the stage. It's the same position he got in stage five, I think. Ah, he lost the wheel of pa Pascal Ackerman uh, during the, to the approach to the finish line. Here is the replay of the final sprint. Viviani was the strongest in the end, with Sasha Modolo and Pascal Ackerman very, very close to him. So Elia Viviani taking the stage ahead of Sasha Modolo and Pascal Ackerman. Matteo Moschetti was eighth in the stage, just behind Fernando Gaviria and Caleb Ewan. No changes in the GC. Primoz Roglic still leading with 37 seconds over Tom Dumoulin. Of course, there were no changes in the mountain classification since there were no climbs today. And Giulio Ciccone keeps the blue jersey. Primoz Roglic uh, still holds the Maglia Ciclamino. No changes in the young rider classification with Miguel Angel Lopez still leading. And also no changes in the team classification as Astana has led since day one. So Elia Viviani wins stage 10. It's his first win in this Giro d'Italia. As for Matteo Moschetti, our sprinter, he was eighth in the stage. He had some trouble following the wheel of uh, Pascal Ackerman. Um, so during the approach to the final sprint, he lost the wheel of Ackerman and only managed uh, to be eighth in the race. So looking at the next stage, the 11th stage that will take the riders from Carpi to Novi Ligure, it's going to be again over 200 kilometers, but no difficulties at all uh, during this stage. There's also one intermediate sprint only during the race. So it's probably going to be a boring stage again, um, coming down to a sprint finish. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also comment below on what you think I should have done better uh, to get a better result with Matteo Moschetti on this one. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I really value the support you have been giving me. And I hope to see you all soon for another video of the Giro d'Italia 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. Bye.